hello guys welcome back to a new tutorial in this tutorial we will take ahead our previous tutorial so in that tutorial we have tested our accelerometer and we have logged those value into android monitor now we are going to add a text view into our xml files so that text view uh, you can add into resource layout file so you can come into a resource folder and then the layout folder into the activity main now let me explain few things so let's read get rid of this android monitor and uh, you can get here a preview okay and uh, you may get like this preview so if you press here the show design so it will just come here and if it is not coming you can just preview it right so you can go with the design also and you can drag in the drop text view or you can directly go with the text view but personally i would like to go with the directly text version so first of all that let's get rid of this text view okay and also we need to give here linear layout right so linear layout if you give linear layout at upper end it will automatically change here the next one right fine now this is the linear layout and uh, in this linear layout we need accelerometer uh, data into here our screen so i think uh, let's go with the uh, linear layout and uh, let's put it uh, its orientation linear layout orientation uh, a vertical orientation right so orientation is vertical perfect okay so now let's give a text view here. so come with the text view so the first text view, uh, let's wrap the content, okay, and here wrap content, okay. I think for the width we can go for uh, match content, match parent, sorry, we can go for the match parent and uh, then wrap content, okay. And after that, what we need to do? We need to also we can give some padding here. So at upper end, let's give padding of thirty sp. Okay, perfect. So here the padding is thirty sp, and uh, now after this, we need to give the ID to this text view. So let's give the ID to the text view. So this is the ID for x value. Okay, now let's add another text view so the another text view let's match parent and wrap content width and let's give the id for this text view this is y value let's add the another text view right so let's match the width and wrap the content to the height and then let's give the id to this one that's the sorry j value perfect okay so the orientation is uh, a vertical uh, linear layout it's linear layout so i think uh, we can also give here a below layout okay so I think do we need below? No. Below is not available. Somehow we are missing it. Here somehow. So let's put it horizontal and then see what would happen. Nothing. Nothing is happening somehow. Something is missing here. Let me check it. So it says no orientation and default is horizontal okay so so what we need to do here uh, orientation we need to make the vertical orientation that's what i am trying to make but unfortunately i am not able to make that vertical orientation yes yes now it's right vertical i think earlier i may have written it uh, misspelled okay 
so now let's uh, give some margin okay from the top so we can give here a margin layout margin top let's say the 30 sp and for this one we can also give some margin top let's 30 sp perfect now we have got our x y and z value and now we need to come here into the main activity and let's initialize those text view here okay so we need to come here a text view the first one is x value is equal to sorry x value and then y value and then z value right now let's initialize this text view here so we can do this text view so by calling x value is equal to text view find view y id r dot id dot x value now we are getting that uh, uh, x y z references from xml file now y value is equal to uh, a text weave and then find we by r id the r dot r sorry r dot id dot y value and then we need z value is equal to text weave find we r dot id dot z value perfect okay so x y z we have got all these references for x y z and finally here we can set value to those x y z right so what we can do we can do x value dot set text okay so we can do here x value oops x value okay sensor event dot value 0 okay so we have got x value here and i'm going to copy and the paste it here to you know the expedite uh, this typing things okay great now x y and z now we need to put it two so we have got almost everything let's test it with my mobile okay so i'm gonna test it okay so i'm gonna test it okay great so let's run it Oh, somehow I, uh, by mistake, I removed my mobile phone. Okay, click on the OK and let's again, no, build it. Okay, so uh, if you test it, uh, here into wireless pro so you can see my mobile phone is showing something here it's showing but only the z value somehow uh, there is a problem with the layout let me see what is the problem with the layout so if you encounter uh, if you uh, ever encounter a problem like this okay if your all waves are just uh, you know going one above another what you can do uh, you can change your layout from here so let's make it a relative layout i can make it very easily a relative layout and uh, and then what i can do uh, i can uh, put it to below uh, of 
id of x value right and then i can put it below of id of y value right so now you save it and don't take this vertical just remove it and let's fill it okay and see here our Sir. okay let me open it wait for it it's installing apk it's installing apk now is still only the z value is coming something is wrong something is wrong let me see what is the wrong i think the weight height everything is fine here so I'm going to uh, stop this video and I'll check it offline and then I'll come back to you. Oh, I, <laughs> I got the problem. I made a very you know, silly mistake here. I'm setting only my X value. I did not set uh, Y and the Z value. So I need to set here the Y value as well as the Z value. Okay, now let's save it. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I did sometimes, you know, the blunders so let's check it now installing the applications let me open my visor perfect now you can see i am perfectly getting my x y and z value right so let me move it sorry right. so it's uh, almost everything is changing and in meantime you can see these values into the also your uh, you know android monitor so here you are having a two option right so you can see a values in your mobile and if you want to debug suppose that if something went wrong you can also get what went wrong into your android uh, layout uh, sorry android monitor and one more tip in the last i would like to give you suppose that if you want to change this uh, color you can do it very easily you can come into the value and into the color Right, so there is a primary color and the primary dark colors. You can change it very easily. I would love to make it, you know, something like this color. Let's change this one also. Okay, now let's check it. See, the color has been changed. And if I upload this to mobile, and then let's check it into the device here. It will open, it will open, installing the application. Okay, just wait for a few. Yeah, got it. See, the color has been changed very easily. That's all for this tutorial. Into the next tutorial, I'll be taking a um, few more sensors, such as uh, pressure sensors, light and the magnetometer, all those things into the next tutorial. And also, I'll be showing those value into our mobile screen so thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for more you can subscribe this channel so that you can directly get update into your inbox bye bye have a nice day